Warmore House III, it's time for Broadway After Dark, and on the internet is broadwayafterdark.com, where we're going to go today. You know, uh, Jim, if you um, go by uh, the Tix booth, you'll see a statue of a fellow by the name of George M. Cohan. Mm -hmm. Now, George M. Cohan was the man who owned Broadway, almost literally, uh, back in about the turn of the last century. Um, he produced uh, many shows at the, um, at, at the, I was going to say the Henry B. Harris Theater. It wasn't the Henry B. Harris Theater at all. Uh, it was um, the Hudson Theater on 44th Street during the 1920s. But long before that, he owned four theaters uh, in the Broadway area, in the Broadway uh, grid at a time there were 70 theaters. Uh, there was a George M. Cohan Theater. And, you know, he wrote many songs, uh, many patriotic songs, including Over There, mm -hmm. uh, which was a, a, a patriotic song of, of World War I. Uh, he wrote uh, Your Grand Old Flag. He wrote uh, Mary. Uh, that was the uh, name of his daughter. And many other songs. And, of course, uh, he was immortalized, George M. Cohen, by Jimmy Cagney mm -hmm. in the movie um, uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Mm -hmm. Now, Jimmy Cagney was, was a hoofer on Broadway, like Cohan, uh, and started as a dancer uh, in many things, uh, including uh, ballroom dancing, tap dancing, you name it, before he had a speaking part in, in vaudeville. Mm. And uh, in fact, my stepmother, Jean Dalrymple, who uh, ran the New York City Center, gave him uh, one of his first jobs in vaudeville, uh, Jimmy Cagney, because she thought he had personality. And did he ever have oh, personality? Oh, yes, right. Yeah. Now, um, uh, but he played uh, George M. Cohan, and that was one of the highlights of his, uh, of his life. And I don't know whether he won an Oscar for it, but he should have. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, a, a, yeah, an Oscar for it. And so we have this great character, and you wouldn't know that he exists today other than if you go to the, uh, his statue at 47th and Broadway, you'll see a statue of George M. Cohan. And, and it, I think it will say on the statue, the man who owned Broadway. And is there a statue of Gershwin? Uh, there is not a statue of Gershwin. There's a statue of Father Duffy in Duffy Square, which is where the Times Square uh, Tix booth is. But there Why is, is Father Duffy so famous? Uh, good question, and I really don't have the answer to that. I think Father Duffy is famous because he was um, a um, chaplain, in chaplain uh, in, in World War I, I believe. Yeah, I yeah. think that was the point. Yeah. and. Uh, and he said prayers over Broadway shows? Yes. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, you know, there, there's an actor's church uh, right at 46th and Broadway, and mm -hmm. um, they have um, memorials for people who have passed on during the year. Now, there's, there's a Duke Ellington uh, statue up at oh. 110th Street mm. and 5th Avenue, and they have uh, Duke Ellington concerts. His granddaughter, Mercedes Ellington, all, often participates on that, but there's no Georgian, there's no uh, Gershwin uh, statue. Mm. And... Uh, there's a Jackie Gleason statue. Yes. And you made a, a, a Jackie Gleason statue is, is uh, of Jackie as uh, Ralph Cramden. Ralph Cramden. Mm -hmm. It's outside the Port Authority bus terminal. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I, I love stories about Gleason because he always prepared for the hun honeymooners by not preparing. Right, right. He just I mean, up. he was just show up. He knew the rundown and, and that was yeah, it. Yeah, and, and ad lib if he had to. And, you know, uh, and. Um, it, it was absolutely the, probably the best show that was ever yeah. done on television. It's still yeah. running today. Yeah, it's still running today, right. Okay, and, Ward. Okay, I'm and sorry. He, he, he could drink anybody under the table. Oh, yes, and he's yeah. been under the table, too. Right, right. Okay, that's Ward Morehouse the third Broadway After Dark, and on the Internet, it's broadwayafterdark.com. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.